Okay, first off, we don't got long, so I'm gonna get right to it. Thanks for 10,000 subscribers. I know it's been a minute, but <laughs> since we hit 10,000, but I would like to thank everybody for 10,000 subscribers and the wind is blowing, motherfucker. But, <laughs> um, Happy New Year. It's 2020. It's all bringing in, you know. Uh, the last time I uploaded on this YouTube channel was October the 8th. 2018 October the 13th 2018 my life changed I told y'all on October the 8th I was having surgery for my tonsils and adenoids then my wife had separated August September she came back October the 8th to help me with the surgery we was gonna get back together be a family all that good American dream shit October the 8th she come back we go have surgery October 13th she comes and no no October the 8th yeah we had surgery then October the 13th I wake up and then boom then October the 13th it's like I woke up she's packing up all her shit she telling me we getting a divorce taking the kids I'm broke as fuck bank accounts empty in-laws in the house taking shit less than $100 in my pocket don't know what the fuck I'm about to do but thank God that me just being a live ass individual, a dope ass individual, I didn't crack under the pressure, the, the, under the pressure. I, you know, I stood up in front of it like a man and I accepted the divorce for what it was. You know what I mean? Because I'm not perfect. She wasn't perfect. She did me dirty through the whole process of the first week of the divorce with, with the whole leaving, taking everything and me not seeing my kids and. Even, I even been locked up because of this shit. False charges of the mix of violence and all this other bullshit. And it is what it is. She did what she did. I did what I did. It's cool. You know what I mean? Like, shit happened. At first, I was so embarrassed about getting a divorce. I thought it was like the worst thing ever. And I was like, I can't believe this happened to me. But it ended up being the best thing in my life because I wasn't happy. I wasn't myself. I wasn't who I need to be. Sometimes people could be in your life and they could hold you back from being the true potential of what you need to be. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times I wanted to make YouTube videos. I couldn't make them because she was fucking with me. But now <laughs> she don't fuck with me because I get to make all the videos I want. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about. And I'm trying to hurry up because I don't want to drag you guys day out. Because it's been so long since I talked to you guys. So much has happened with my life and where I'm at and what I want to be and just so much and i want to bring you guys along for the ride because we started this shit creating content on this channel becoming a youtuber and it's it all stopped and now i'm like i'm ready to be a youtuber again it's 2020 i'm at the i'm not even at my prime but i'm at like one of the best level-headed i'm so focused right now to where i want to start back being a youtuber i want to start making dope ass content and I want to explain to you guys what I want to do. First things first, I want to like, what the fuck? I want to do everything. So <laughs> it's like, I want to bring you guys along behind the scenes, vlogs, everything. I'm a music video director with my Xbox left in October. I end up, I was just in the process of starting to shoot music videos and what it took from October to the first beginning of January to where it really like popped for me because October, November, December, I was broke as fuck. My jaw wasn't cutting. It just, it just wasn't going to do it. I didn't, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was barely getting by and that's the whole thing of, I guess, divorcing the struggle of first beginning and shit going on like that. But it's cool because January I put out this dope ass music video and it skyrocketed my career as a music video director and as a content creator I guess you could say I went from doing music videos commercial real estate weddings goddamn name, which I can't I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere <laughs> and we I gotta get like a road mic for this vlogging camera so but it kind of blew up and in the process of all this happening i ended up meeting this dope ass girl that helped me with this process and like 
Y'all yeah, see a lot of her because I'm a vlog and she be with me all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, which I've had, I got the Instagram down in the bottom corner somewhere. Follow my Instagram. That's like my number one app in my life. I love that. And you get to see all my life. It's like I basically vlog on Instagram, but now I want to vlog on Instagram and YouTube. Like, I don't know. It's, it's different. It's weird. But I miss gaming. My girl know I miss gaming. And she bought me a new Xbox for Christmas. And I plugged that motherfucker up. And it took me back. <laughs> I haven't gamed in over a year. And... I don't know, man. Gaming has changed since I did gaming back when I first fell in love with gaming. Like, when I first started doing gaming, it was like, for who the fuck is it? When I first started doing gaming, it was like extremely, extremely fun. And now it's like, I play Gears of War 5 and I'm like, yeah. And I guess I'm about a new Call of Duty and try that out. I heard it got skill based matchmaking in it, but I don't know. I don't want to force music video content and vlogs down you guys throat but i'm gonna be straight up and honest with you guys i'm gonna still do game and shit but right now my main focus in life is creating content and that content is about me as a person and it's about music videos it's about wedding it's entertaining and i'm still gonna do things as far as like gaming related i guess when i have the time but right now I know a lot of people used to tell me they enjoyed me for me. Like the content, the 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 gameplay didn't matter. They just wanted to hear me say, what is up, nerd? You know what I mean? They just wanted to hear me say that. So since they just wanted to hear me say that and hear me talk, maybe you guys can hear this new person. Not even new, just the raw me, the real me. And just, man, I see so much with shoot music videos and I do so much, I go so many different places, I travel to where I know you guys will like it. I was fucking shooting a music video like three weeks ago and the fucking drive-by shooting happened. It's like boop, 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 and it's like everybody hitting the floor and deck and shit and it's, it's crazy, it's, 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 it's exciting. It's like a 24-hour a, a adrenaline rush shooting music videos and I love this shit. And I love creating content. I might, I stopped making content on YouTube, but I never stopped making content period <laughs> you know what i mean but now it's time to get back to making youtube content you know what i mean like i got 10k subscribers on this channel so my question is like would you guys support a new channel or should i just stay on this channel and drop content would you guys still like share it and stay sub or like what the fuck do you guys want like on this channel like, what are we gonna do with 10k subs like it's 2020 i'm focused i'm excited i'm happy i'm i'm in the best form of my life i'm at the, i'm 32 years old i'm at i'm like i'm like on fucking crack right now like this is going to be an amazing year this is my year everything i ever wanted i've been getting everything i ever dreamed of i'm gonna have in this year you know what i mean like i went from the end of 2019 2018 being broke as fuck to 2019 just skyrocketing making a ton of money meeting this amazing girl that i'm gonna end up marrying one day i got she's eight months pregnant i got a baby girl on the way and i just want to share all this new awesome exciting stuff with you guys and i just want to know should we just keep it on this channel or should we go to another channel and I don't know man you guys follow me on Instagram like you'll see what I'm I'm gonna be doing and where I'm gonna go so depending on the feedback on this video will determine if I make a new channel for my vlog and I should I just let this channel be what it was and just close this chapter or should I just keep the book going as my life keeps going if that makes sense but i'm new at this vlog and shit so i don't know how to end it i need to find the intro i need to find something it's gonna be exciting vlogs are gonna be exciting and dope because i'm creative like you guys should see my music videos they fucking insane like they they are insane they're crazy but if you follow me on instagram <laughs> that like i'm stressing you will see a lot of my work but it's still nerd life it's still gang shit <laughs> and that would never change and a lot of things about me will never change. It's just, I'm not with somebody who's holding me back to my full. Motherfucker, really? 
but this is not with somebody who holding me back. But I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm pumped. Let's get it. 2020. Y'all, fuck with me in the comment section like y'all always do. I appreciate y'all.